The main issue, sir. One second. So you just did it. You just did it again. Why do you why do you insist on questioning her racial identity? I, I want okay, you to answer my question. At, George, George. Now that you're done yelling at me, let me answer. George Slopinopoulos blows up on Byron Donalds over Kamala Harris's racial identity. So in this video, we're gonna break it all down. Welcome to the Devore Darkens show. I am Devore Darkens. You guys already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe to this video so we can get it out to more people just like you and me. George Sloppinopoulos. Yes, that's how I call him because he's sloppy and he was very sloppy this year in his coverage of President Trump, by the way. But Byron Donalds goes on to his show today and he absolutely loses it on him. I mean, this guy Sloppinopoulos absolutely has Trump derangement syndrome. There's no question about it. So in this video, we're going to talk about that. And why is George Slopinopoulos so angry? Remember, he works for ABC and there's a whole story around that. So we're, we'll get into that as well. So without further ado, let's play the video. Just bring in Republican Congressman and Trump ally Byron Donalds. Congressman, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, why is former President Trump questioning the vice president's racial identity? Well, first, George, uh, in Chicago, he was responding to a question from, I believe, Rachel Scott. Like, this is really a phony controversy. I don't really care. Most people don't. But if we're going to be accurate, when Kamala Harris went into the United States Senate, it was AP that said she was the first Indian American United States senator. It was actually played up a lot when she came into the Senate. Now she's running nationally. Obviously, the campaign has shifted. They're talking much more about, about her father's uh, heritage and her black identity. It doesn't really matter. The president mentioned it. What he also talks about far more frequently is the fact that Kamala Harris is the person who created this massive inflation, which is destroying black families, white families, Hispanic families. It's her, her failure as border czar that has left our southern border wide open, more than 10 million illegal immigrants coming into our country, record fentanyl coming into our country, which has killed more Americans than at any other point in the history of our country with respect specifically to fentanyl. And the fact that she and Joe Biden have unleashed one of the worst okay. foreign policies in the history of our country that has us on the verge of World War III. That is Kamala Harris's record. President Trump talks about that frequently, but yes, he did mention it in Chicago in, re in response to a question from Rachel Scott. And you, and you just repeated the slur again. If it doesn't matter, why do you all keep questioning her identity? She's always identified as a black woman. She is biracial. She has a Jamaican father and Indian mother. She's always identified as both. Why are you questioning that? Well, George, first of all, this is something that's actually a conversation uh, throughout social media right now. There are a lot of people who are trying to figure this out. But again, that's a side issue, not the main issue. The main issue. Sir, is one second. Terrible, terrible you just did it. You just Harris did it again. Of the United States. Why, why do George, you, you why do you insist on questioning her racial George, identity? You want, you want me to talk? I, I want okay, you to now, answer now my question. At, George, George, now that you're done yelling at me, let me answer. He talked about it on a stage yesterday in Atlanta for, what, two minutes? He spent more than 35, 40 minutes going after her record, talking about how radical of a senator that she was. She was the most liberal senator in the United States, uh, in the United States Senate. That is a fact. He talked about the job uh, that she did as vice president of the United States, a job, I will add, which has been a failure for the American people. I know you guys like to glom on to this that he talks about in jest or, or in a serious manner for about a minute or so, but what you do not cover is the litany of failures of Kamala Harris. That's what so you're quit. not covering, George. Okay, yeah, this guy, he's he's absolutely triggered. He just He's so upset because he doesn't want to listen to facts, right? They want to listen to feelings. And the problem with this whole conversation to begin with is what was the first question out of his mouth? It was based on race. This is why we're even having this conversation. Think about this. I wouldn't be shooting this video. You wouldn't be interested in watching this if Rachel Scott never brought up that question. They are the ones who keep bringing it up. It's all originating from President Biden going out there and saying, I'm going to make sure I put a person of color, a woman as the vice president. They ran with this over the last three and a half years. And now that it's an actual topic of conversation because she's running for president, people are so triggered. So there's that point. The second point, again, is every single news channel, the very first question out of their mouth when they're talking to someone on the Republican side is her race. But then they get mad at the answer when the answer is based on reality. It is true that she ran on American Indian heritage. That is true. 
There's no debating that. There's nothing wrong with saying that. He never even questioned that in this exchange. He didn't even say, yeah, you know, I'm not too sure either, George. I don't think um, she is black either. He never said that. In fact, most of his answer is geared towards what? Policies. What's happening with everyday Americans? And that's what's wrong with these news channels. That's why I believe they are dying every single day because they cannot focus on what truly matters for the American people. They're so focused on identity politics, trying to get clicks, trying to get people sparking a conversation. And of course, that's all they can go on because they're failing. And, you know, George, he just does not want to hear it. OK, he does not want to hear about the failed policies. They don't report on the failed policies. If you go look at ABC's YouTube channel, CNN YouTube channel, MSNBC YouTube channel, you're not going to find any stories really condemning, questioning, calling out the current administration. You're not going to find any of that. But every single video or every other video is them criticizing President Trump. What does that say about them when they're supposed to be journalists? Yeah, give me a break. So questioning somebody's racial identity for a couple minutes is okay? George, I'm going to tell you again, he brought it up. AP is the one that wrote the headline when she first came in to the United States Senate. Didn't talk about her being black, talked about her being the first Indian American senator. AP brought that up. I mean, George, we could have this conversation for the entire segment, but none of this matters to the American people. What matters to the American people is are we going to have the same policies of the Biden-Harris administration that has been destructive of the American people, or are we going to have the policies of the Trump administration, which put America first, had low inflation, prosperous Americans, no matter your race, no matter your color, no matter your creed, and a foreign policy that kept America safe. Those are the facts that truly matter because this issue is going to come and go. The lives of the American people is what's going to remain. And that's what matters more than anything else. If it doesn't matter, I don't understand why you keep on repeating it, why the president keeps on repeating it, why those introducing the president yesterday George, keep actually, on repeating it. George, actually, I'm not it. the one who keeps repeating it. George, you're the one that's bringing it up now. That's you. You've done I it. Understand why sir, you you've done it. Up. You've because done it three George, times. Every single answer George, you gave me. Now let me finish, sir. George, Every single you answer you gave, you repeated you the slur. You me, George. That's why I'm pushing back on you now. George, you right, asked and, me the question three times. I responded, but I'm And every single time you repeat the slur, election. that is my, exactly my point. You simply can't say that it's wrong. George, so then what you're saying, so then what you and I want to get off this topic because it's not the only thing that's going on. But George, now you're saying that AP is the one that slurred Kamala Harris because those are the facts. You can go to the internet and look at the clips, George, if you want to, or we can talk about this now. I prefer to talk about the future of our country because the American people are struggling. The American people do need serious policy decisions to be made and they need serious leadership on the world stage. Kamala Harris has not proven that she can do that. Donald Donald J. Trump has proven that he can do that. AP did not say that Kamala Harris is not black. She is biracial. She is Indian. She is black. You continue to repeat the fact that you continue to repeat the slur. I don't understand why you and the president do it, but it's clear you're not going to say that it's wrong. I and mean, you've now established that for our audience. Uh, Trump also said at the convention that he would George, pardon January 6th rioters. Everybody look for themselves. Let's move on. I've already said that. Go ahead. Internet, everybody. Let's move on. There we go. So, go, <laughs> go on and repeat the slurs again. Just pathetic, right? You could you could tell that he's he they really want to push this. And I just have to debunk this whole uh, it's a slur. It's a slur. You see how they like to change the meaning of a slur, right? They, they like to flip these words and twist them to their narrative. Nothing that came out of Byron Donald's mouth was a slur that that's now what he could have said. Oh, you guys are unwilling to condemn this or you're unwilling to denounce this. But now he's jumping to the level of saying that it's a slur if you do not denounce it. That's how insane these people are. And as I've stated throughout this whole video up to this point, he started off the interview asking Byron Donald's those questions. So it's just crazy. And then it brings us to what's going on here. You could tell. This guy is triggered, but why is he so angry? Why does he have such a problem with Byron Donalds? Why does he have such a problem with President Trump? Well, let's take a look at this video. 
Donald Trump is taking on George Stephanopoulos. The former president has filed a defamation lawsuit against the ABC host because of this explosive interview with South Carolina Congresswoman Nancy Mace on his Sunday morning show. You're shaming no, me for my I'm political not, I'm choices. Not, I'm asking you a question about why you endorse someone who's been found liable for rape. Mace, who was raped when she was 16, pushed back when Stephanopoulos insisted that Trump had been found liable for rape in the E. Jean Carroll civil case. This was a civil judgment over sexual abuse, not rape, by the way. Trump was watching, and now he's suing Stephanopoulos. In a complaint filed Monday, his attorney wrote, the jury expressly found that Trump did not commit rape. Stephanopoulos falsely stated otherwise. Okay, so you guys seen that, right? And that's kind of the background story of why he's so angry. And I think they're just going to get even crazier the closer we get to the election, because they've tried so many ways to take this guy out, right? They tried to impeach him, right? They tried to put him behind bars. They've tried to bankrupt him. And then clearly they failed with the assassination attempt. So what else is left, right? The only thing that's really left in their toolkit is to go all in on propaganda and to program everyday Americans to fear this guy and call him a racist, call him the next thing to Hitler. And they're willing to go to the level of changing the English language to get it done. And of course, such is such a controversial topic. Uh, let me show you at least one of the receipts that shows what I'm saying is true, that he was not found liable for rape. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, so as you guys can see uh, in the verdict form, right? We don't have to spend too much time on this. Just read it for yourself. Did Miss Carroll prove that Mr. Trump rape Miss Carol. No. Okay. So you guys seen that, right? And that is exactly what is happening in this world today. We have, I don't think we've ever been in this position politically. I mean, there's definitely been division. There's definitely been opposite sides. There are multiple opposite sides at this point. You know, you got people who are Democrats, but they're not as progressive as Kamala Harris is. Like they really do not like that she's running, but they don't have a choice because Nancy Pelosi, Barack Obama, they run the show. So they're not going to step out of line and go public and say, yeah, we really don't agree with this. They don't have a choice but to fall in line. So there, there's that thing, right? And then you have people like Mitt Romney or Chris Christie, right? And Brian Kemp, who's the governor of Georgia, who do not like President Trump whatsoever, right? They do not like what he stands for. They do not agree with him, but they do agree on policy. And so you have multiple sides at this point, a lot of different ways of looking at this, but it really comes down to this main thing. Where we are as a country, we have a choice. We can pump the brakes on these crazy policies that are destroying America, and we can put some common sense back into our system, or we can continue to speed up and allow these progressive policies to erode what we know America to truly be. And people like Slopinopoulos, we know where he stands with all this. And then we know what Byron Donald stands and the rest of the Republican stands. They keep just bringing up the policies, but the media keeps bringing up her race because they are the ones who lead with the question. At the end of the day, it is a separate issue. It's, it's an issue. It's not the biggest issue, but it is an issue because it's an indictment. It is an indictment on whether or not her campaign and her identity is based on authenticity. And for anyone out there in the media who's trying to minimize that, they are gaslighting people. And that's the mistake they're making. If I was in their shoes, I'd just stop talking about it. It's like Morgan Freeman when he went on to the Don Lemon show. And Don Lemon was like, man, I'm just tired of talking about race. Well, stop talking about it. The only reason why it's alive is because we keep bringing it up. The only reason why, the only reason why her race has been called into question is because the media keeps asking questions about it. They want to get a reaction. They want to get a sound clip. So they are enablers. If they don't want to hear anybody talk about it, don't ask questions about it. Just totally ignore it. That's what they're doing about the Kamala Harris campaign and her policies. They're not asking questions about her policies. They're not asking questions about her track record. They're not asking questions about how she's been as a vice president. That's why it's not really a topic of conversation. And the Republicans have to put an extra effort to bring it up in the conversation. So as I wrap up this video, let me say this to you guys. The way Byron Donald handled himself was definitely a professional. It's what I would want to see. I don't care what side you're on as a politician, how I would want them to perform when they go on to this propaganda news channels. Uh, so that that's the first thing. Second thing is, like I said, they're full on propaganda mode. They're going to continue to change the English language. They're going to continue to gaslight American people and they're going to do everything they can in their power 
to make sure that Kamala Harris is an angel and President Trump is the devil. That's exactly what they're going to do. And so that brings me to my final point. It is on you. It is on me. It is on the people we surround ourselves with to make sure that we encourage critical thinking, that we ask questions and do not attack. Just ask questions. Get people to think, even if they get upset. They're going to think later on and say, you know what? Maybe I was wrong about that. Maybe I should go do my research. That will be better off than trying to argue or convince someone to support Trump or not vote for Kamala Harris. It's not my job to tell you who to vote for. I just want you to think for yourself because the media and the government and these politicians are banking on the fact that you won't do that. And so that's my mindset. What do you think about George Sloppinopoulos? And him getting so emotionally angry at Byron Donalds because he didn't say what he wanted him to say. I want to know what your guys' thoughts and more in the comments section below. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.